I'm not going to turn it off from now on, okay? I'm glad, I'm glad you called it. I was so scared. Has she ever heard the numbers 911? This is her second time in the ER in how long? She should have her own cubicle. I hate it here. I want to... We are just about ready to do this ultrasound, okay? Do you want some juice or some water? Have you eaten anything? That's good, Ryan. Can you stay on top of her to eat, please? Because it could be dangerous for both of them. It's not his fault. He's... He's had a lot to deal with lately. Ryan is here with his wife, so to take my wife home. Yeah, that'll happen. I can't just leave her alone. She's worried about her baby. You're right. I know how it feels to be afraid for your child. So no matter how I feel about Annie or what she's doing to Ryan, she is a mother scared for her baby. There you go. But there's something more, Zach. I'm telling you, Annie has a secret. And it's not just that crazy, weird rage I was talking about. There's something more. Something big and scary. And we have no idea how many people that secret could hurt. Does sets off any alarm for you? I mean, for someone who didn't want to make a fuss, why did she call you? She was in an accident, and I'm very reliable. Yes, you are. Ugh. But remember when Annie used to get all pissed off and indignant when someone pitied her? Her thing was being perfect, not a, a, a flighty, needy woman dependent upon a man. Now her thing is, oh, Ryan, please help me. Somebody, anybody help me. She had a rough patch. Okay, you're saying all the good and decent things, but I'm not buying it. Maybe that's because I'm neither good nor decent. Annie's hiding a key at the office. Did you know that? How would I know that? How would you know that? I saw it. I found it. And that key is proof. The key's proof for what? It's proof that she's completely lost her mind and she's going over the edge. You know what's going over the edge? You. No. What's this key for? You don't even know, do you? No, that key is her way of trying to hang on to Ryan. <clears throat> okay, should be able to see something in just a second. <laughs> I'm sorry, is that cold? No, it's, <laughs> it's just nerves, I guess. Okay. Can you see? Is is there? There you have it. What? What? What do you see? I see a baby. I see your baby. There's the. <laughs> That's our child, Ryan. Your baby. I'll just uh, get my files together and then we can crush at your office or get a room at the Yacht Club. I think your apartment would have aired out by now. No, it's jinxed. Not interested. So, what were you and Ryan talking about? Uh, the case that he has you working on? Something different. Two cases now? Possibly. You're not giving me anything, are you? Apart from love. <laughs> Love and affection, mm -hmm. some, some room service. I mean, unless you want to chase everyone to the ER. Why do you keep saying that? Maybe because I know you. And if I say, come on, uh, Ryan needs me? Uh, then we'd go. No. We stay. It's time that we stay out of everyone's mess. But we just built a big house with room for half a pint of <laughs> Yeah, to visit, not to spend every waking minute with. You saved us from the gas leak, and I'm saving us from our dysfunctional family of friends. You will go to college, take some classes, date some young men from the best families. Not have to deal with wardens or lockdowns. I was behind the wheel of the car. My car. 
Goldie, that is a lie. I was driving back from the lodge. All right, enough. Out. Both of you. We're not done. Actually, you are. Yeah. No, Colby. You will not go down for that. So what's the deal? Are you going to help her out with some more stellar advice? You have your daughters, Martin. This one's mine. No, okay, I get it. I understand. Why you don't want me around your kids, but Adam, your kid's future is at stake. Her, her safety, okay? She needs you to get her out of the hole, not she, make it deep. She will walk out of there free. I guarantee it. You are so sure you can manipulate the system. Uh-huh. She's got a lot to lose. She's a child. My child. Yeah, your child. What's she going to owe you, huh? After all is said and done, what are you going to expect from her? Her freedom. You don't you don't think I should try to save her, do you? No. Go ahead, do whatever you can. I intend to. Just keep in mind, right? She's a kid. She's not something you can win or lose. <laughs> Spoken like a natural born loser. That's closed. Found it upstairs for me. So, this is how you solve a case. You work a bunch of kids. Actually, Samuel, they're adults. What of them is your stepdaughter? We have my stepdaughter and your son in security photos at a gas station on the same road where Richie Novak was killed. You got Colby Chandler's allegedly stolen car out front, and oh, let me tell you, they started talking after that one. What they're trying to do is create reasonable doubt. It's probably something they saw on TV. Yeah, well, I need the real story. And put Dre back in the room with the girls. You kidding me? That's how I got, I did it, no, I did it, and no, I did it in the first place. It's going to be different this time, okay? Trust me. Put Dre in the room with the girls, and the truth is going to be what's left. Perry, would you grab the other two, put them back in the room with Colby Chandler, please? You sure about this? Your son is... He's sure. He's sure, and I'm behind him. Nothing's changed yet. You can't keep asking. Relax. Dre's idea for this little powwow. It's over. We're done with this lie. There's no car. They can't do anything without the car. They can do plenty. Jesse was reading us our rights. He was bluffing to see if we break. Yeah, your dad didn't look mad. I mean, was he okay to you? He believes in me. Knows I'm going to do what's right. Whoa. What do you mean, what's right? Like I said, it's over. Now we, I, I'm going to tell the truth. Yeah, we agree. We're all in this. Look, if we tell. Look, I, I ran out on my dad so that he'd a sick a P.I. on me. I ran out on you at your parents' yeah, wedding. You didn't. Bullets were flying. We all wanted to run. Yeah. I'm not running on this. I'm telling the truth, and you guys aren't going to fight me on it. Jay! I mean, I want to do what you want, but I can't. Because it's betrayal. I see it all the time, and we won't do it. Colby. Cass. Look, if they know... I'm gonna be okay. And let me do this. with me i i took my car up to the lodge for my big 18th birthday um it was just supposed to be us and karina but it was kind of boring until dre and run showed up with the beer i brought the beer yeah we all drank but i'm the only one that got plastered and she wanted to go home we all did but i offered to drive because i didn't want to drive 